Those of you who might not know me, love that someone just dragged you here in the morning. <laughs> uh, but I'm the founder of this great movement, and as you've heard, Epic is empowered, prayerful, influential, and Christ-like women. And we are all about being a community that is unapologetic about our love for Jesus and about being modern-day women of faith um, in how we relate in our relationships, um, how we navigate culture, and how we navigate life, okay? And so a little bit of a, some background. We meet monthly for virtual Bible studies. I'm going to be telling you a bit more about that. But every month, except in the month where we have an assembly, we meet for our virtual Bible studies. It's on, usually on the last Saturday of the month. Um, but this month will be a little bit different, and we'll share more details on that. Um, and it's such an amazing time, an awesome, awesome time. We have such great learning. We study a woman character of the Bible, the good girls and the bad girls of the Bible. And believe me, there's so much to learn, okay? And so how many of you have been part of our Bible studies before? Yeah, quite a number of you. Um, it's an awesome time. I encourage you to make sure you join us even for the next ones. Okay, um, first of all, I know um, they were already introduced, but you're just gonna have to allow me once again to recognize just a few special guests, okay? Um, can I begin with Mr. Epic Man Moyere? This man will be 
an important person in this nation. And so my mom, Akamua Tanitoa, seven years ago, uh, not even seven years ago, ten years ago, almost eleven, my mom led me to Christ. She was a prayerful woman, she was a woman who served the Lord. And uh, seven years ago, when I was about to quit serving the Lord because of, uh, you know, Vitu Mingi, my mom prayed for me, for my first job. And I got my job at Citizen TV. Wow. This April, this April, I'll be serving seven years at Citizen TV. Wow. What am I trying to say? Uh, Joyce knows my testimony, what I've been able to achieve. And uh, the thing I'm saying is that my mom stood with God. She was an epic lady. You who are in this room, I can see a lot of epic women over here. Amen. You're here because one day there are generations who will stand like on this platform saying, my mom used to serve the Lord. Amen. My mom was an epic woman. And so that's my prayer to every uh, woman who is over here. But the Lord lead you. I'm sure that at the end of this event, you'll not walk out the same. Because I've been here and I've seen what has been happening. So Joyce, thank you so much for holding this. And uh, God bless you everyone for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my name is Andrew, DJ Academy. for the right reasons. <laughs> 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 Let me also appreciate three young ladies who have stood with me like nothing else. These are women who, many of them were just like you. They came to one of our very first assemblies and they've never looked back and they've been serving all the way since. This is our leadership committee. Would you please help me in appreciating as they enter? But uh, these women, she's come, okay. Um, there she is, here's Natasha, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. <laughs> these ladies have just been an absolute godsend and many of them started exactly where you guys are at as well. And so ladies, I just wanna take this moment to honor you and to appreciate you for all the hard work you put in for the way that you have owned Epic, uh, the many times that you have encouraged me to keep going even when I felt I cannot. So, thank you. I honor you and I appreciate you. There's also a group with us that, as I mentioned, we have our uh, virtual Bible studies. And this team, we call them our faculty now, our Epic faculty, because they are women that have stood with us to actually teach some of these lessons or help me teach some of the lessons that we do study. And so I'm going to ask them to just stand where they are. Uh, with us here we have Reverend Angie Yegon. Thank you so much. Um, we are going to introduce our uh, prayer past pastoral team later on. But also with us we have Esther Wanja. We have Reverend Purity who's still on her way. We also have with us Pastor Linda. because I want her to tell you a little bit of what we're doing with our discipleship classes, okay? And in addition to that, there are some young ladies, I hope God gives them the courage, um, that actually, when people get born again in Epic, we've actually started a discipleship training course in partnership with Set Up Church Online, because it's so important that when you make that life-changing decision that we are walking with you, okay? So you can have some training, but then you find this community as well. And so, um, Pauline, if you'd help me, they can start making their way. As Pastor Linda, you just tell us briefly, come on, um, about this discipleship class. Praise the name of the Lord. Just turn to your neighbor, give them a high five. Tell them we welcome to our epic women assembly. Amen, amen, amen. My name is Linda Moneke, as you have heard. 
Um, I start with Sitam Church Online, and I'm so happy to have one of our reverends here from Sitam. And um, about a year ago, God just put it in my heart to disciple the new believers here at Epic. And um, I'm so glad that we might finally managed to do the first cohort, which was last last year. We finished beginning of this year, and then we started the second cohort. So I want to just invite the amazing ladies who finished the first cohort to share with us what they learned and just a highlight of um, the class for them. Praise God. Amen. Praise God again. Amen. My name is Cynthia Awan and I was part of the Cohort One's Discipleship class. Hi, I'm Jessica Joma. <laughs> I was part of the first Discipleship Cohort and my highlight for it has been just finding a community of Christ-like women who can lead you in your journeys. I got born again of the Epic Assembly in August. Wow. <laughs> Journey, which has been awesome. Praise God. Praise God again. Amen. I am Vicky Wamboi. I was also part of the Cohort One Discipleship class, and we were so much impacted.